Good evening, I'm Kristen Thorne. He's protecting us, but who's protecting him? A Northern Kentucky soldier in Iraq is asking for your help after sending his family and co-workers a disturbing email. I'm Jessica Donlin. The story's coming up. They are protecting our freedoms overseas, but at least one U.S. troop claims the federal government is not doing enough to protect them. Good evening, I'm Kristen Thorne, in for Kimberly Monning. A northern Kentucky soldier is risking a possible reprimand to try and save lives in Iraq. Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers with the Kentucky National Guard wrote an email begging his family, friends, and co-workers to help get his company in Iraq safer equipment. WB64's Jessica Donnellan joins us live with more on our top story. Jess? Kristen, most of us have heard stories from the front lines about shoddy equipment. But one soldier even spoke to Donald Rumsfeld about it last year. Tonight, a local soldier's family says they're as pro-military as you can be, but this email makes them question how much the military is protecting their soldier. In this email, Staff Sergeant Brad Rogers asks for help from the media and from politicians, so we sent this to his congressman, Jeff Davis. Then we asked Davis to address these concerns. I'm an American soldier. This is Staff Sergeant Rogers' five-year-old son, an example of how much this family believes in what he's doing in Iraq. However, when his wife received this email describing trucks with mechanical problems and breakdowns, plus lack of protective armor or bulletproof windows... I'm afraid that he's over there in the first place, and then to find out that he's over there with not the right equipment makes things even worse. Sandra Rogers says her husband served in Desert Storm while he was in the Army and returned to Iraq this February as a Kentucky National Guardsman. In the email, Rogers says his company already lost one soldier because of the lack of protective equipment and says, I don't feel right in my heart to sit here and not do anything. General Storm shared that, uh, that the vehicle uh, that was involved in the incident uh, referred to in the email had the latest add-on armor. Jeff Davis is Staff Sergeant Rogers' representative in Congress and is a member of the Armed Services Committee. As a veteran, Davis says he understands the struggles of combat. There's going to be some wear and tear that's going to be associated with that. Our military is, uh, I think, doing an excellent job addressing them as they can. Over the last two years, have been providing a very substantial amount of money, farmering vehicles. However, Davis also says this is the first email of this nature he's received. One out of several hundred is less than certainly less than one percent. I think a lot of people don't speak out because they don't want to, you know, step on any toes. Nancy Lanham is one of Roger's co-workers. She fought back tears when talking about these concerns and about his dedication to this mission. He said that if something doesn't happen by Saturday, the conditions don't change and the mission is you know, a go that he'll go. He certainly would not want to step aside and put somebody else in harm's way. Congressman Davis says it's not his place to step in and ask for a mission to be stopped. However, Rogers' family and friends aren't convinced, and they're asking you tonight to contact Davis or other legislators to voice concerns. Reporting live, I'm Jessica Donlin, WB64 News at 10. Kristen? All right, thanks a lot, Jess.